Look at this lovely Lotus twin cam engine and see how clean it is. Traditionally though, it's been very difficult to keep engines this clean and oil tight. Using a traditional cork gasket and sealant doesn't always allow the engine cover to be totally oil tight, but now there's a high tech solution. Start by taking the top cover off the engine and scrupulously cleaning it, like the example from the land sprint shown here. Find an engineering company that has up-to-date computer equipment that can cut a groove all around the underside of your Lotus Twin Cam engine cover. Here's what the finished job should look like. This is a square groove machined 2mm wide that is 1.4mm deep. Next, obtain some 1.78mm section Viton O-ring and push it dry into the groove all around the twin cam engine cover. Where the ends butt together, simply use a tiny dab of super glue to hold the rubber pieces together. Next, you need to more securely fasten the rubber section into the metal groove that's been machined on the underside of the engine cover. Get some Evo stick and a toothpick, and using the toothpick, put Evo stick very sparingly into the metal groove all around the underside of the engine cover. Once that's dried off a little bit, simply press the rubber section into the metal groove to hold it more securely. Everything needs to be scrupulously clean, so using the toothpick, pick out any little blobs of Evo stick and discard them. This is what this stage of the process should look like, nice and clean and everything tight, yet the rubber is not being stretched. Next, obtain some blue Hylomar. If your local motor factory or shop doesn't stock it, it's easily obtainable online. Blue Hylomar is a remarkable product as it never sets fully hard. Thus, you'll be able to take the engine cover on and off many times using this product. Next, I installed the four rubber D-plugs, two at the front and two at the back of the engine block, by simply smearing some blue Hylomar on the underside of the D-blocks and also on the locating part of the engine block. Don't install the D-sections immediately but allow some of the solvents to evaporate from the blue hylomar. Once the blue hylomar becomes a little tacky, then simply press the D-sections into place and remove any excess blue hylomar. Next, spread a thin film of blue hylomar over the mating surfaces of the top of the engine block and the underside of your engine cover. As before, Take a few minutes to allow the solvents from the blue Hylomar to evaporate and then simply replace the engine cover on the top of the block. Next, purchase some Doughty washers online. These are very easily obtainable and it's the washer shown on the left of the picture. They're remarkable washers as they have a rubber insert which once again helps to keep the oil firmly inside the engine cover. So now it's time to finish the job off. Simply place a doughty washer over the stud, followed by a metal washer, followed by a nylon locking nut. Just snug down the engine cover at this point, but don't over tighten it. After a while, go round again with your spanner and snug those nuts up, but don't over tighten anything. You don't want to crush that lovely rubber seal that you've created. After that, you're good to go. Start the engine, check for any leaks, there shouldn't be any, and look forward to fuss-free, oil-tight motoring. An added bonus of this system is that because the blue Hylomar is so flexible, you can remove and replace the engine cover many, many times for routine servicing. It's as simple as that.